about my third day out here. We drove in that morning, met up at the gang box, went over our safety meeting. First thing in the morning, we got what they call a pre-task. A foreman will read over the pre-task, tell them what you know they're going to do for today, and then the men sign off on it. They do that three times a day. Everybody signed the sheet. And we suited up to go to work. Inspected the harness, checked everything out. Good to go. I mean, we go through CSA training, which is forge training. We go through wall bridges training. We go through Midwest training. The procedure is, if you, anytime you're above six feet, you've got to be 100% tied up. When you're setting the iron, it's the most dangerous aspect, they say, and you're only as good as your partner. You need your partner, your partner needs you. We call it a marriage. You're married up there in the air. We had a tree of joists, which is five joists strung up. We set one at a time. And we were connecting truss to truss with the joists. The pieces came in backwards, so we were going to spin them. We had a six foot choker that we put in, in the truss. The choker wasn't long enough. I took one too many steps and it pulled me off. If I wasn't tied off, I wouldn't be here. They sent several lifts up to get me. My uh, partner actually is the one that came across and got me first. I immediately ran back to my basket and went and picked him up. I sent out a call that we had an employee of uh, what we call go in the hole. They took my harness off. We put everything in the back of the general foreman's truck. They took him onto the hospital, had him checked out, make sure that he had no injuries. Once I heard the lanyard rip, it's got some stitching in it. You know, once I heard that rip, I knew everything was okay. Everybody was going by the rules and it ended up saving a life. So it's definitely pretty important. If you're about to tie it off, you're not gonna get another chance. Oh, I told my mom and dad about it. You know, my daughter and my son. They were glad I was tied off. By uh, following the safety procedures, it will save your lives. You know, he's probably gonna be more aware of where he's at on the steel, because now he's gonna stop and think about it. That'll be with him the rest of his life. Even if you are tied off, you know, the right way, even the best hands out there can go and only ever know what could happen. Don't get in a hurry. Paycheck don't do you any good if you're dead.